we are headed to an a I should put this out there it's a historical abandoned place they had tuberculosis going on so they thought that they could cure it with sulfur and there was a sulfur springs on it so they were using that to cure people so um yeah we will head out go there see what happens see what we catch um fingers crossed is something cool but uh i really hope that you guys enjoy this trip
so we can't really go in to the inside of these places but look at this I think they it actually states that they are using it probably and uh, yeah but had to show you all of this area I think well this one I think this would have been where the main entrance was yeah. I mean, they got the big bowler tower right there. And that these motorcyclists are cycling like crazy that people. Just going a little that other guy, he was just driving by. Uh, that, them two might come back because that's what I'm talking about. They, they, they went down there and stopped. See, all of this area and see, right that here. Says wellhead. Yeah. I think they that's. Are, that they are actually there. using that building. Yeah, that building there is, looks newer than these, and they're, but they've got a whale house up there. Yeah. They used to still do stuff here before the barn got burnt down. Wow. Like they'd have little things out there. huge. So over there is where we're heading to you guys and this is also part of it it's another one of the buildings off to the side there back here Well, it looks like that's an entire building, love. There's a building under the Kujo. guys look you can see all the pot structure sticking up behind the Kujo.
foundation. It is. Because it looks like a, a maze down inside of there. I think it is. There's the wall over along that side. I bet there was a big building stage right here. Kind of looks like it dips down. Cujo's such weird stuff. It is. It grows over everything. And that looks like a garage. The way the front of it. Whoa. From up here you'll be able to see it. Yeah, there ain't a lot of room to turn around if you what I was working on. And I don't want to get over in this cougar line. Whoa. I thought that was brick from down there, but it's not. Well, it is, but it's got the, like, stucco layer on the outside. Yeah, see, see, there's more. That's another wall. Structures. Oh. Yeah, I'll look back. You can see I held it really clear all that way. Now you can see it looks kind of like a maze. Interesting fact this building was actually built from a quarry that was back in the back that had sandstone. So the building was actually made out of the sandstone. That's kind of cool. It was also finished in 1926 and it would be the temporary lodging for visiting union members and their families at that time. They got home cooked meals, they were provided to the guests using dairy and meat from Pressman Farms. And then adjacent to the tile floor lobby was a warmly lit library which served as the reading room. They also had a swimming pool and they had a gas station that sat next to the building and an ice cream shop that sat behind it, back where we are. The building was abandoned in 1969 when the union left and it was later destroyed by arson in 1994. On that foundation down there. So I wonder what this building area Looks like, it got, it sees, looks like there's more back that way too. The road there. But this is this is a garage. I mean it's clearly a garage building. Hard to tell. Man, it's a neat looking building though. Look, it's got like five garage doors and this one's bigger and it's got two windows there. I bet that was a neat looking building. It looks almost like a fire station too. Could be a fire department. I don't know. It's huge though. They're completely gutted. Yeah. You guys. Probably you have to burn. I that's, might be able to that's a problem with the I walk here, but I ain't walking through this other stuff. I don't walk through the Kujo Vine. Pretty wicked. I don't. Know. 
Like there was the, this same building, there was four of them in here. There's some nice stuff. No, it's just one. Oh. You know, it's like there was one here and one there and one there and maybe one over here. Even. Like there was four of them. I wonder if this was maybe parking or lodging facilities for uh, those that worked the, over there. That's what the big white building. Well, there was a hotel, it? and then there was the big house apartment building. And that's what the two buildings over there are, I think. Hey, yeah, look, guys. Yeah, you can you, see. It's like a maze down there. Welcome to the trade school. This became the iconic structure of Pressman Homes. The trade school building was finished in 1948 and housed over 500,000, around 6.6 .6 million in 2014 in printing presses and other equipment. 